Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to a world of laughter, learning, and entertainment. Thank you for choosing our video on Juan Albono Pereira Merquiz. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Juan Albono Pereira Merquiz was a Portuguese merchant and the godfather and tutor of Bernardo Higgins. He is the ancestor of one of the most important Chilean colonial families. Now, let's shift our focus to origin and embark on an intellectual exploration of its various dimensions. He was the son of Luis Pereira of Squiz and Josefa Merquiz. They were both born in Porto, Portugal, and lived on La Poma Island in the archipelago of the Canary Islands. By disposition of the Count of Superunda, he had Pereira established with factories in the Indies in 1753. He went to America. He was obtained permission from Viceroy of Peru to trade. He was known for being a person of good treatment, honest and credit. In Chile, he was settled in the city of San Agustin of Talca, where he was a prosperous merchant. However, on 8 April 1765, he was arrested and expelled from the Spanish Kingdom, in compliance with the order to expel all foreigners from Chile. With the help of the powerful Universal Secretary of the Dispatch of the Indies, Marquis de Sonora, he was allowed to return to Chile. Pereira Merquez was married by proxy to Mara Mercedes de la Cruz y Bomond, daughter of Juan de la Cruz y Bernadotte and Silveria Alvarez de Bomond y Herrera. She died on 21 August 1768 without children. On 5 April he married his first wife's younger sister Bartolina de la Cruz. They had seven children, one, Maidel Rosario, Maidel Transito, Francisca de Boria, Casimiro, Nichols, Carlos and Manuel. He was brother-in-law of Juan Manuel, Anselmo, Nichols and Vicente de la Cruz y Bomond. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of relationship with Ambrose and Bernardo O'Higgins. Juan Obono Pereira Merquez was living in Talca when he had to close his shop in Santiago. This store was located next to that of Ambrose Higgins, Irish merchant, whom he would have a close friendship with for the rest of his life. O'Higgins entrusted him with the care of his son. The boy Bernardo arrived at this Obono Cruz family in November 1782 at four years old. This mission was entrusted to Domingo Tirapegui, who without anyone noticing, is left chillin' with the child. He arrived at Talca, handed it to Albono with the letter he from Ambrosio O'Higgins, in which he asked him to have his son, take care of him and give him a Christian education. The priest Pedro Pablo de la Carrera and Davila were consult to one Albono Pereira about the doubts he deserved about whether or not child Bernardo would be baptised, who grew up in his house. To save them and make clear his legal status and fulfill Ambrose O'Higgins' assignment, which in the letter he recommended. He was baptised in the parish church on 20 January 1783 and inscribed in the parish book as the son of Ambrose O'Higgins. His godparents were one Albono Pereira and his wife. In April 1787 he stayed at Albano's house, Juan Martinez de Rosas, his old friend. Possessing the trust of the chairman, Ambrose O'Higgins, and feeling already old Albono, he was introduced by Dr. Rosas, a boy who was raised in his house, so that there were witnesses about his identity and told him. The following year, in April 1788, Pereira Merquez received Ambrose O'Higgins, who was travelling from Concepcion to Santiago to assume his position as governor of the Kingdom of Chile. This was the only encounter with his son Bernardo. Taka Corregidor, he was the Chilote Juan Antonio de Solchedo y Carello, who made preparations for his reception. The governor's carriage, followed by a retinue of neighbours, stopped before the Portuguese house. The entire Albano Cruz family was waiting for him at the door, among them the child Bernardo. Ambrose Higgins was one of those men who, when dominated by great emotions, he is torn from them showing great indifference or with a gesture that is puts them in evidence of their emotionality. Both alone in the farm of Lurke, they have talked between Old Bono and O'Higgins about their memories, mainly talking about their dialogues about little Bernardo. Their Ambrose O'Higgins speak the state of his child education. The child Bernardo had learned to read, write and recite sentences. 
the father of O'Higgins, to express to Olbono his wishes that he be transferred to Chilin and return to his mother's family to continue his education at his side. The next day, one Olbono Pereira asked his excellency that Ambrose O'Higgins strengthened the ties of friendship that united him to Juan Albono by knowing the heart of his esteemed wife, Bartolina de la Cruz and Barmode. He was a friendship that continued for many years, even when Ambrose O'Higgins went up to the Solio de los Viris and Mrs. Bartolina spent her last years of widowhood in Talca. A few days after leaving Talca the child Bernardo was sent to Chilin, not to return until 25 years later. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at Chilean Independence Act. On 12 February 1818 the Chilean Declaration of Independence was signed at Pereira's house, which today houses the Talca O'Higgins Museum. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at notable descendants and its impact on our understanding. Far Bernardo O'Higgins up Bernardo O'Higgins Godson and Protector. Ficabint con el retrato de Don Olas Fernandez Albano Oculas Fernandez Albano Great Grandson. Fijos Gregorio Coria Albano Ocjes Gregorio Coria Albano Great Grandson. Fivesant Coria Albano 1825 Ocgivesant Coria Albano Great Grandson. Fivesus Coria Albano Ocjes Coria Albano Great Grandson. Fardigo Vergara Albano 1803 Opdigo Vergara Albano Grandchild. Fireatrato de Pedro Noasco Vergara Albono 1800 Oct Pedro Noasco Vergara Albono Grandchild. Filonisto Vergara Y Albono Oconisto Vergara Albono Grandchild. I appreciate your time and I'm grateful for every like, comment, and share.